What's up guys? So we're going to do a couple of Q&A's today which are basically questions that mostly have been sent to me on direct message on Instagram um, and also some YouTube comments as well. So one of the things which I'm going to talk to you quickly about is my hair. So as you can see it's not properly done. Some people have been asking me how I do it. So guys I want to show you something. For me a hair dryer is a major key. This really gets you the volume uh, and it just gets things into kind of like the general area where you want them to be. So I'm just going to blow dry mine quickly um, and then show you what we do next. Okay, so we've blow dried it. You see that we've got kind of a general shape um, to it. What I use is, let me show you, it's called American Crew. Let's hope that it focuses, forming cream. Now this is pretty good. To be honest, I buy it on Amazon because it's just cheaper there. Um, so you guys can do that or you might find it at your local hair salon. I take about this much. So you can see my, I've been deadlifting this morning so you can see my calluses. But anyway, rub it together. And then basically just style it however you want. I sometimes use this brush to just kind of brush the sides down to get it in somewhat of a tidy area on the sides. And then for like the top part, I just use my hands. So like I bring it down a little bit from the side. And it just depends how long your hair is. But for me, really the key is the hair dryer. Um, that really helps you get the shape. It dries it out so that, you know, you don't have too much moisture. You see, I need just a tiny bit more at the front and you just gotta see how it goes with this, guys. I've used this product for a long time um, and I've used it for quite a lot of different styles. So it helps you get the hair up if you want it up. Um, and if you want more smoother look, like down, you can use less. Just, just see how it goes, but I do like this product. Um, I think it's about 10 pounds online on Amazon. So that's how the hair is. We've got a, a little bit which we're gonna fix a bit later. That's how we do the hair, guys. Um, we're gonna answer your other questions next. Hope you guys enjoy the Q&A. Thanks so much for sending in your questions. Keep sending them. Um, and if this is helpful for you, make sure to like the video. Uh, thanks so much for everything, guys. Follow me on Instagram as well, at Sakib Sheikh. And on to the next question. What's up, guys? We're in the office now. Uh, so I thought I'd answer a question which kind of relates to office life and professional life. Let me get in a bit of a position here. The question is, what is a good brand of suits which I could recommend, which isn't too expensive? So guys, the brand which I'm going to recommend is Suit Supply. Now I've got a couple of different types of suits, some more expensive, some less expensive, but Suit Supply I find is moderately priced, it's not like super cheap, but it can be a good investment and it's a suit that will last you hopefully uh, if you treat it the right way. They've got a good amount of selection uh, and I think the people in the store, it's, it's, at least the stores which I've been to, have been really quite helpful. So even if you're not that familiar, I would recommend Suit Supply. Um, and then depending on your budget and depending on how things go, you can obviously go from there. There's obviously you can go to the department stores, Harrods and Selfridges like we have um, in London and I know obviously other cities have the department stores you can check out. So that's my tip on a relatively moderate priced but good quality suit. Okay guys, now let's answer one more question. This one is to do with the gym. And some people have been asking me, what do I think is the best way to talk to girls at the gym or to kind of, you know, interact with girls? So I think we should start with a couple of things, maybe some do's and then some don'ts, or let's actually do it the other way around. Let's do some don'ts and then some things, some do's. Okay, so definitely don't stare at chicks awkwardly or like hang around them while they're like squatting and you know, like keep looking, that is not chill. Um, the girls will think you're creepy and I, that is not a good way to start out, uh, in my opinion. So keep it chill. Um, don't try and give girls like form tips and be like, hey, if you bend over like this, don't do that because then they're gonna think you're even more creepy. So keep like the weird advice and tips to yourself. Um, and guys, what you should try and do here, the do's, is play it cool, be chill. You know, don't like go out of your way and interrupt a girl, that's, that's annoying. So like say if you're leaving the gym at the same time as the girl, or you're, like you're in the elevator together, and, and you, could, you could throw something casual in like, hey, how was your workout? Something like that, you know, let's just keep it chill, keep it, keep it civilized because that's always a good way to start. Don't start throwing in sleep, like weird lines like, oh, damn, I liked your squat form, girl. That is not probably the best idea, I would avoid that. I don't always think that the gym is the best place, personally, for like trying to talk to girls because girls come there with like a purpose, you know, they put their headphones on and they're like, they're in the zone, you know. But, but what I have seen in, in my gym sometimes is that a couple of people sit in like a social circle after their workout in, like in the evening and try and chill. So if you want to like get into that, that might be a cool way to like talk to chicks or, you know, like 
do things in a casual way and not a creepy way. My key takeaway here, guys, is do not be creepy. Don't get caught like staring at girls. That's n a no chill zone. Don't do that. Be friendly, be cool, be polite. You know, maybe you could like ask to work in on an equipment, a piece of equipment, if it fits in with your routine. Don't be like training legs and then all of a sudden ask to work in on chest flies because then the chick is gonna know that this guy is only wants to do this to be creepy. So, you know, like you could work in on the leg press and maybe you could help changing the weights, do something chill, initiate a normal conversation that doesn't come across in a weird way. So I hope that's helpful, guys. You can always ask me more, just some sensible advice. Okay guys, so we're outside. We've got the umbrella, as you can see. The question that someone asked me was, does the weather and the rain in England get to me? Now, it never used to get to me, but when I moved away for university and lived somewhere else for four years, I realized that other countries actually have good weather and much better weather. And the seasons are a bit more defined. So like you have a good winter, uh, good summer, and spring and autumn are quite good. In some places, obviously, not everywhere. Um, and so when I came back, I realized that England actually rains a hell of a lot and it kind of gets to me now sometimes uh, and I get a little bit annoyed that it's always raining but guys you've got to stay positive there's so many other good things about life and so many great things about London so the weather can be a drag but everything else makes up for it so we came outside for this one just so that you guys could experience it and uh, we'll move on to the next one now. okay guys next question you see I'm actually in the car park at the gym some people are asking me which gym I go to I go to Westfield gym box and that's Westfield London so in uh, Shepherd's Bush so guys we'll do one more question in the car before we head into the gym someone else asked me what's my pet peeve like what anno annoys me most about the gym um, and I have to be honest and say that my gym is quite bad for this and it is people who don't put their weights away or put their dumbbells away because it makes it really hard to find and it just creates a huge mess so guys the question was the next question is am I obsessed with Chipotle well I've got Chipotle here and I'm not obsessed with it but it just tastes so good and it fits my macros every damn time so why not and there's so many different options so you can vary it up you know you can have tacos if you want to add more carbs etc so not obsessed with it but I do like it a lot and it fits my macros okay guys so that's the Q&A video I hope you enjoyed it I hope that you found the questions interesting or maybe somewhat helpful in some cases Make sure to comment down below if you want me to do more of these videos. Give the video a like, please hit the thumbs up button. It really helps me out and it helps the channel out. Guys, send me your questions. You can comment on my Inst Instagrams at Sakib Sheikh. You can comment on the video. Make sure to subscribe, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And there's going to be more good stuff coming soon. Every time they see me balling, they say I'm something like Jordan. Pull up in that Benzo.